big toes. <laughs> okay, so we just finished with the compression. We stretched retinaculum. So now we're going to move in to address the lateral side of the legs a little clearer. So um, transition-wise, we're going to bend the legs, get this peel out of the way, and we're going to do this and just move here a little bit. We're going to stabilize here and just do a little stretch here. That's that picture in your manual. Uh, follow along, so make yes. sure that I stay on the path. Thank you. I have a tendency to wander off in the unexplored territory. <laughs> okay, so easy. But you know, the concept is the same when you're using your body as when you're uh, standing up. Works in front of you, your extended position, nice contact, and it's not pushing, but you're just leaning in. Right. Okay, so now, two things. Somebody. And we're going to go like this. Okay, and then we're going to bring it to the side. Uh, staff. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to stabilize this position with the staff. Right? Okay. Can I roll this up? No. Don't you dare. Can I give me this for a second? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so now, like this. Uh, come around so you can see. Move around. Easy. I put this here so when you compress, the one knee doesn't compress into the other one. Easy, right? And again, we're going to start here. So we're going to start with just simple compression. Just nice, simple compression. So when you're working on hip, you want to compress not so much down, but down and away so that you're opening the hip, right? You have nice natural contour here. This is the greater trochanter of the femur. So the arch of your foot hooks right onto that. So you have nice natural contact. So when you shift your weight, it just opens the hip up a little bit. Right? That you, the work's in front of you. And you're just leaning in. So nice and easy. And then you shift your acclimation. So that now you're starting just below the ASIS. And you just let your weight sink in a little bit just to address the lateral side of the leg. So here we're getting the IT band a little bit more. Arch of the foot. Easy. Pressure okay? Great. So this is all that's required, actually, of us <laughs> as barefoot therapists in this moment. <laughs> just to uh, keep the work in front of you and uh, let your foot relax so that it contours to the body. And when you relax, your weight transfers. And uh, because of our knowledge of anatomy, we know that we're addressing iliotibial band, but also just immediately under it is that lateral compartment of the quad. And it all comes to fruition here, uh, the I IT band, at the tendinous uh, attachment at the lateral portion of uh, the leg. So you want to make sure that you address that a little bit with compression. And you can feel that on yourself, right? You feel it coming down and it attaches on the lateral side of the leg because the IT band is supporting the knee. And we have a fixation now about loosening our IT bands. Mm -hmm.